The Japanese offensive called or the Battle of Taiyuan was a major battle fought in 1937 between China and Japan named for Taiyuan, which lay in the second military region. The battle concluded in a victory for Japan over the National Revolutionary Army, including part of Suiwan, most of Shanxi and the NRA arsenal at Taiyuan, and effectively ended large-scale organized resistance in the North China area. Japanese forces included the Japanese Northern China Area Army under Hisaichi Terauchi, elements of the Kwantung Army, and elements of the Inner Mongolian Army led by Din Shugen Grub. Chinese forces were commanded by Yen Shishan, Wei Liwang, and Fu Zuoyi, as well as Yuda who led the Eighth Root Army of the Chinese Communist Party. Occupation of the territories gave the Japanese access to coal from Datong in northern Shanxi, but also exposed them to attacks by the guerrilla forces of the Nationalist Army including the Eighth Root Army, tying down many Japanese troops which could have been diverted to other campaigns. Chapter 1 – Chronology In September 1937, Hideki Tojo sent the Japanese army stationed in Kaha to invade Shanxi in order to exploit its resources. The city of Datong fell, and the NRA was forced to go on the defensive, and concentrated their troops along the Great Wall in battles at places like Pingxingyuan, and to the east at Nyangsiguan. On September 21, 1937, Major Hiroshi Miwa, commander of the 1st Daitai, 16th Hiko Rentai of the Ijaf, who was a former hired military flight instructor for Marshal Chang's Fengchen Army Air Corps and well known in the Chinese military aviation circles of the time, led seven Kawasaki Ki-10 fighters on an escort mission for 14 Mitsubishi Ki-2 bombers to attack the city of Taiyuan, encountered Chinese Air Force V-65C Corsairs and Curtis Hawk IIs, shooting down several. However Major Miwa himself was shot down and killed over Taiyuan in a duel with Captain Chan Kiwong, commander of the 28th PS, 5th PG whilst flying a Curtis Hawk to Yen Shishan also sent troops to reinforce Xi Jiajuang, but that caused a lack of personnel to defend the North China area, allowing the Japanese army to break through in the north forcing the Chinese to fall back to a new line at Zunku. Fighting continued in October in the Battle of Zunku until the Japanese outflanked Nyangsiguan in late October, compromising the Chinese defense resulting in the fall of Taiyuan. Chapter 2, Gallery Chapter 3, Sources Su Long Huswain and Chang Ming Kai, History of the Sino-Japanese War 2nd ed., 1971 Translated by Wen Ha Shung, Chung Wu Publishing, 33, 140th Lane, Tonghua Street, Taipei, Taiwan Republic of China Page 195-200, Map 6